The Atmospheric Remote Sensing Infrared Exoplanet Large Survey Aerial, is a space telescope, planned for launch in 2028 as the fourth medium-class mission of the European Space Agency's Cosmic Vision Program. The mission is aimed at observing at least 1,000 known exoplanets using the transit method, studying and characterizing the planet's chemical composition and thermal structures. <laughs> mission Ariel will observe 1,000 planets orbiting distant stars and make the first large-scale survey of the chemistry of exoplanet atmospheres. The objective is to answer fundamental questions about how planetary systems form and evolve. A spectrometer will spread the light into a spectrum rainbow and determine the chemical fingerprints of gases in the planet's atmospheres. This will enable scientists to understand how the chemistry of a planet links to the environment in which it forms, and how its formation and evolution are affected by its parent star. Ariel will study a diverse population of exoplanets in a wide variety of environments, but it will focus on warm and hot planets in orbits close to their star. The Ariel mission is being developed by a consortium of various institutions from 11 member states of the European Space Agency (ESA) and international contributors from four countries. The project is led by Principal Investigator Professor Giovanna Tinetti of the University College London, who had previously led the unsuccessful Exoplanet Characterization Observatory proposal for the M3 Cosmic Vision launch slot. Operations of the mission and the spacecraft will be handled jointly by ESA and the consortium behind the mission's development, through a coordinated instrument operations and science data center a Mission Operations Centre MOC will be set up at the European Space Operations Centre in Darmstadt, Germany, while a concurrent Aerial Science Operations Centre will be set up at the European Space Astronomy Centre near Madrid, Spain. The MOC will be responsible for the spacecraft itself, while the SOC will be responsible for archiving mission data and scientific data downlinked from the spacecraft. The IOSDC will help develop results from the mission based on data received by the SOC. In August 2017, NASA conditionally selected contribution to aerial spectroscopy of exoplanets (CASE) as a partner mission of opportunity, pending the result of ESA's cosmic vision selection. Under the proposal NASA would provide two fine guidance sensors for the aerial spacecraft in return for the participation of U.S. scientists in the mission. <laughs> spacecraft The design of the aerial spacecraft is based on that intended for the Exoplanet Characterization Observatory mission, and has heritage from the thermal design of Planck. The body of the spacecraft is split into two distinct modules known as the Service Module and the Payload Module the SVM is shaped as a sandwich structure, consisting of three aluminum V grooves and three pairs of low conductivity fiberglass bipod struts supporting the PLM. 
A basic horizontal telescope configuration is used for the PLM itself, housing all of the spacecraft's scientific instruments and its oval 1.1 times 0.7 meters, 3.6 times 2.3 feet primary mirror. At launch, the spacecraft will have a fueled mass of approximately 1,200 kg 2, and will have a dry mass of approximately 950 kg 2, the PLM will account for around 300 kg of that mass. Telescope The Aerial Telescope's assembly is an off-axis Cassegrain telescope followed by a third parabolic mirror to recollimate the beam. The telescope uses an oval 1.1 times 0.7 meters, 3.6 times 2.3 feet primary mirror. The system has a diffraction limit of about 3 micrometers and a focal ratio f of 13.4. The system will acquire images in the visible and near infrared spectrum. Its infrared spectroscope will operate between 1.95 micrometers and 7.8 micrometers, which requires to be passively cooled to a temperature of minus 218 degrees Celsius, minus 360.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 55.1 K. Topic: Launch and trajectory. The aerial spacecraft will be launched in mid 2028 by Arian Space's Ariane 6 to 2 rocket, currently in development. It will be launched from the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana, from the L'Ensemble de Lancement Ariane 4, Ariane Launch Area 4 being purpose-built for future Ariane 6 launches. Ariel will be launched to the L2 Lagrangian point, in a position located at a distance of 1,500,000 km miles from Earth, where it will encounter a very stable thermal environment that is required to detect exoplanets. See also Cheops and Plato, Cosmic Vision Exoplanetology Missions Finesse, NASA equivalent to Ariel List of space telescopes <laughs>